My name is Sam Wines. I am a biology graduate from Deakin University and I co-founded the Phoenix School program alongside Andrew Gray, another good friend of mine, two years ago. The premise for it was that we realised the science ecosystem had a bit of a waste issue. In nature, there is no such thing as waste, so we've tried to emulate that and done our best to allocate resources from laboratories and ensure that we divert it from landfill and give it to schools in need. Where this all started was, like all good things in science, often observation. My other co-founder, Andrew, he set about setting up his own laboratory, so a community-based laboratory, and through this, he realised just how much scientific equipment goes to waste. And the real turning point was when um, a university that we, um, we now have a strong affiliation with, they actually threw out uh, 100 microscopes. So just to put that into perspective, um, you know, the average microscope might cost between $3,000 to $5,000 and some schools that we have been in contact with, they might have a budget for their entire science faculty of uh, less than two to $3,000. When you start looking at that, you can realise that, um, you know, there is something there and there's a massive sort of resource pool which we're not utilising because this superfluous equipment is seen by universities as, you know, not really necessary. But, you know, for high school students, that could be an absolute gold mine that can really be the key to their sort of opening of their mind and catalyzing their curiosity and helping them, you know, further enter the STEM stream and become, you know, the amazing scientists that they could be. The role we play in the education ecosystem is that of a broker. We look at ways in which we can divert scientific equipment from landfill and get it to schools or educational institutions that might need this equipment. But at the moment, that, that, that system, the logistical system, has really been our biggest hurdle. Once we do secure a bit better of a logistics system, we'll be able to have such a bigger impact and be able to get more of this equipment out quicker, more efficient, and uh, benefit more school students who need this. We've actually aligned with quite a few of the top universities in Australia, which is incredibly exciting. One of our key donors is Monash University, uh, alongside RMIT University. Um, then we've also received quite a few donations from um, small institutions, research laboratories, etc. And we've had a few donations from industry as well. And with that sort of small amount of donations and and we haven't actually had quite a lot of media exposure or anything of the likes thus far. So we're really happy with what we've managed to make happen with such a short amount of resources. So we're really excited to see how big this impact can be um, going forward. Thus far, we have managed to help in excess of 30 schools, which has been amazing. They've ranged from quite a varying background, also very different geographical locations. We have some schools that are, you know, four hours away that have driven all the way into some of our open day donations. And we've had schools very local around the corner from where I live who have also picked up um, equipment from us. So it really is quite a wide scope and we plan on sort of expanding that out to not only Victoria, but nationwide, and then um, hopefully uh, in partnership with a few overseas uh, NGOs, maybe we'll look at doing this globally as well. The way that we engage with the school community is through email and through our website. If you're a school that's looking at uh, wanting to receive some equipment, um, we have a form which they can fill out that adds them into a little spreadsheet for us. And then whenever we have a university or a big donation coming from anywhere else, we then notify everyone on our list we can then allocate out this equipment depending on their um, socioeconomic status. So ultimately, the Phoenix School program can't operate in isolation. We exist within an ecosystem of other like-minded organisations and NGOs. So going forwards, we're looking at partnering with the Royal Society of Victoria, Science for All and Bioquisitive to find ways to actively engage school students uh, in citizen science projects, to provide mentoring for lab techs and teachers who are teaching outside of their field in the STEM space. Finally, also we're looking at doing uh, some citizen science projects which actively engage students with industry and research institutions as well.